Hey Stampers, Gainer again. Uh, I've been spraying my hand with that, oh what's it called? Let me just see if I can find it. Some kind lady sent it to me and I can't remember her name, I do apologise. That stuff for pain. Well, my hand has been playing up and it, look, can you see it's going white a little bit? It's only off the spray but uh, it is helping a little bit. I've ordered myself a bracelet so Whilst till that comes, I'm going to be using that spray, and I do apologise, I can't remember your name, my darling. Um, so if you leave me a comment, I'll give you a shout out. <laughs> but um, you saw me on Sunday make the double um, Z gatefold card with all the beach scene, and I have just loved all that set. It's been absolutely beautiful. Um, then you saw me make a mini album. Uh, an accordion style box and then the corner lidded box well these are all little ideas um, I'm coming up I'm going to be doing like a few 3d projects from now to the end of the month with a few cards in between and I'm going to little craft fair ideas or maybe your swaps if you go into on stage or something so, um, I mean, the, the gatefold z -fold card is not a, for a swap or anything. Or, or Well, you could make them if you want. There's a lot of effort goes into that card to make this for craft fairs, even. Um, kids have loved them, I know that. Um, then the mini album, perfect for craft fair ideas with little cards inside or use journaling pages instead. The accordion style box. If you make the inlets, and you could sell them at Craftsfest, put them in some cello with a nice little ribbon around the top, and do the inserts, birthday, thank you, you know, get well soon, and then they can create their own cards to put inside one of those boxes, or buy them off you while you're selling them on the craft fairs. And then the corner lidded boxes, absolutely wonderful for craft fairs, especially with Christmas coming up. Maybe even the, the little accordion style card, you could maybe make them and put journaling pages in them even and the, the, the triangle boxes are made a couple of weeks back they're perfect and if you're stacking them inside each other and you, they fold they store flat so the recipients only got to tie them together when you put them back perfect for like I'm saying craft fairs or you know swaps even so I'm continuing now with a, another little 3d project in fact, there's, there's three for this one. <laughs> so I had some little tiny tea bags given to me. And they're just so beautiful. Like an orange, a peach, fruits of the forest. So I've made a little pouch for it to go in. Look at that. I've got a ball fly out from the paper. They're tied on, but you can undo them. But I'll show you in a minute. I've got this size. We're going to make this size. We're going to make this one as well. This is for a bigger size tea bag. That's the spiced apple one. And then we've also got another tea bag in here. And this is made on the envelope punch board with those new frosted florals. Aren't they cute? just gorgeous? Can you imagine them in a box? Three different sizes, all lay lined up, mini tea bags. And then those two are the same. But I'm going to have to pinch the tea bag from there and there. Oh, well, that one anyway, to put in the new one. So I've got one left. So I only had three. But I got four of them. So we're gonna make this one first. Just love it. I can't take the tea bag out of this one. Let me just show you. I can take this off. It's a belly band. I sillily, sillily <laughs> added glue dots and <laughs> now I can't get my uh, tea bag out. So don't don't glue them in. <laughs> oh, they gotta start a video with a boo-boo already, haven't we? every time <laughs> and then that slides back on there and then I've, I, you could put a Christmas sentiment on Christmas papers even or just or if it's autumn winter craft fair then you can leave these as autumn just beautiful flowers and this paper is like oh, I can't explain it's just beautiful and then the life is sweeter with friends like you and I've done it on that one as well. And then this one just says, thank you. How cute are those? Oh my gosh. So these are my tea bags I'm working with. These are the three we're going to make. These two are very much alike. Um, and this one as well. So 
going to pop them to one side so I can keep an eye on them. So for my little mini one, I'm using double-sided. My gorgeous pinks. I love these. With the, the larger tea bag one then, this one, which I, I always use my scraps normally. This one, I'm going to use this paper and it's directional. Isn't that so pretty? It's like pearled. Oh, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Can you see the shine on it? And then, oh, that's going to be for that one. Absolutely gorgeous. And then I'm using this one, which is slightly different than that one. Yes, yeah, the next pattern along. And this one is for the tea bag card. So, we need a envelope punch board for this one. I've just bought myself two new bone folders in Hobbycraft. And they were £2 for the two. Look how long that is. I can grip that a lot better. And this one as well. A lot better while my hands are killing like this. So I would not I would say it was kind of directional, but not too bad. This is five and three quarters by five and three quarters. Because the tea bag is three by three and a half. Well, it's not actually. It's three by three and a quarter but I don't have a measurement for three by three and a quarter so you're going to pop this in and you're going to take this along to two and five eighths which is just there so what we're going to do I'm going to punch and then we're going to score if I, I can't find my line I can't find my line let me get my tool out oh my hands are killing Two and five eighths, there we go. We've punched, now we need to score. See that? Oops! Yeah, don't worry, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna flip this over now. So I've done it, but there. So punch and score. Because I don't want to crease my paper. So I'm gonna go in. If you want. You should always do it with the paper you want show it downwards. So when you come to fold, I've got that crease line the wrong way now. So it's my fault. Silly boo boo again. So punch and score. You're just following the score lines then. And this one, we're just going to put it in, line it up and punch. Because we've already scored. If you want to be technical, do it again. And I'm just going to round the two biggest corners off whilst I've got this envelope punch board out. That didn't look so grand. That's better. Oh, I'm knocking off my little tray. So I'm going to pop that to one side. And it's so simple. This one is just, but it's so cute. And I'm going to fold and burnish my score lines. You don't have to go overly uh, hectic on this because this paper is just beautiful and it doesn't need too much pressure. I mean, if you're, everyone's seen people make things with the envelope punch board, but I mean, you don't heave, heaven, heaven. You don't even with an e, not a h. <laughs> you don't even have to sellotape them down if you don't want to you can just wrap with your belly band now so that would be perfect so my little tea bag I'm going to pinch from this one I'm going to pop that in there what I did like a silly sausage I added two glue dots to the end of the packet popped it in it would have been okay if I was leaving it open like this you know and then just to add in but isn't that cute this paper is absolutely stunning. I love that. So I'm going to try it without closing it. So I've got this beautiful grey granite, grey granite ribbon. And it's the textured woven ribbon. And it's half inch thick. It's just beautiful. So I'm going to leave a little bit at the top. Maybe a little bit more. And then I'm just going to snip off with me floral scissors. I love this stuff, it's gorgeous. And I'm just going to tie 
this in a knot. You could do a bow if you want, but with my hands aching the way they are at the moment, I am having a job to even grip hold of my coffee cup. And that's sacrilege because Gaina loves her coffee. So I'm just going to make sure that's tied tight. Uh, yeah, arthritis. And it's because it started raining and it's been quite damp for the past few days. Oops, I've frayed that now. So I'm just going to... Oh, that is so cute. But my envelope's staying together, even the sides. I'm just going to tidy these up. Because they frayed a little bit when I... Uh, and get rid of those. My little top. Isn't that cute? I'm just loving this. So, and it's not too tight that you can slide it on and off. I adore this. I think it's absolutely beautiful. So I've got some silver foil somewhere where I did have. Arr, let's see if I can find it. That's my nickel one. <laughs> I've got bits of paper everywhere. Well, I don't think I've got enough there for my circle. No, I don't think I This I will use on my small tea bag there. So I'm just going to grab another piece. I've got plenty over here. I buy this. Oh, I'll tell you what I have just bought. Let me show you this. I wonder if this is going nice. Oh, my wood. I'm just going to cut a piece in half because it's too big. But I want to show you this I've just bought. It's absolutely stunning. So two seconds, I'll cut it in half. Look at this. I had it in Hobbycraft and it's, it's that stuff that doesn't come off. And it's champagne colour. Do you think that would look nice on there with the champagne? Oh, I do. I think that's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to use my starburst punch. And I'm going to cut one of these out. Oh, oh blimey. <laughs> Stop complaining, Gainer. <laughs> Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Oh, and I think it goes lovely with them papers. So with my two inch punch, I'm gonna punch, this is just cheap card. You can use Whisper White if you want. I can't even grip it. Look at that, I can't even squeeze it tight now. Oh, look how close I get, I'm stingy. <laughs> and that's that two inch punch. Now I can pop those two out. My desk is chock a block in a minute. I got three little projects on the go, this, this and this, and two others, and I need to make some space. So, I, I, I love that, I think that is absolutely stunning, and that was 20, it was on sale, the A5, which is half of an A4, was literally £4 for 20 sheets, so the A4 size, the A5, sorry, the A4 size was 20 sheets, so you're getting twice as many if you cut them all in half. You were getting 40 sheets for £3. So for the X, for the pound less, I had 40 sheets of it, when you think about it, in Hobbycraft. Hobby went in. So I thought I'd tailed along. So, you know, you like old craft ideas. <gasps> I had to tail along. And I'm using Mossy Meadow. Because... I don't think this colour gets used so much and I love it and it's just, it, it's a really nice clean crisp colour as well and I'm just tapping and this is from the Detailed With Love stamp set. My paper is stinking anyway so I, the dots will overhang so, isn't that lovely? It's absolutely a gorgeous, gorgeous dark green. And I'm cleaning up as I'm going along. On the little one, I used um, just basic black with the thank you. So that can go back in my box. But look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Life is sweet with friends. The thank you. I love you. Let's celebrate. So many of my smiles begin with you. It's just beautiful. Happy birthday. So... I'm using this set for the little tea bags. Absolutely love it. 
so versatile. So there's my little block back. I'm just going to grab a bit of snail. Oops, is that coming out? There we go. I haven't got the pressure to push on it. And it's really do starting to get really painful, so I may go to the doctor's. That is perfect. So we haven't finished. Got this beautiful swirl. And I'm just going to add one right at the top. I'm going to spin it round. And I'm going to have another one right at the bottom. Isn't that pretty? Oh my lord, it's lovely. So there's my mossy meadow. Make sure you click them back into place. I'm a little swirl. Give that a little clean as we're going along. You say a mucky crafter is a happy crafter. Well, I'm a happy crafter and a mucky, but I'm also OCD as well. <laughs> OCD. Right, what it did here, because I don't want to start adding dimensionals, otherwise I will never get this belly band on and off. I'm just adding, because it's half inch ribbon, I can add a little piece of tear and tape just down there. And I think the backing comes off really easy because it's clinging to material. So it's not trying to grip onto the backing. It comes off really easy when I can get the thing underneath. There we go, look. See that? how easy that was? Now I can line this up and get that right in the centre. Okay, oops, oh, I've got a little bit showing at the bottom. So if that's the case, just grab your piercing tool and push that under. Just so it's not out of the way and sticking in. And it'll soon tuck away. There we go, it's not sticky no more whatsoever. What am I looking for? Oh, my little trinket box. So I know I have, most of my stuff is out of date or it's uh, retired, so they're not out of date. It's either retired or it's, I don't know. But because I'm using, I think this is sweet. These are from the year to cheer, so I'm not going to throw these. I've got little trinkets in here as well. Little Christmas trees. And I've got little reindeers. And I've bought bells today to go on my cards as well. And I've also, oh, these now. I'm going to use one of these. Look at that beautiful rose. And I'm going to pop that right there. Oh, I did use these, actually. Where is it? I've got two lots of it. This leaf. But when I added the glue dot, it was a bit sticky, sticky. So I went over then, and but you can still, still see. See the glue dot? I could just try and push it under but this is a prototype for me and look how small that is at the top I prefer it bigger so instead of using that I could have used the, the, the you've got flowers with these look at these wooden elements from last Christmas I'm not throwing up why would I want to throw these away or not use them when Christmas is just around the corner I could use the flower one Oh, I might actually use the flower. Yeah, I like that. Because I've got space for the glue dot there. This time, though, what I will do is grab my paper piercer, grab my glue dot, and I just swirl it together until it's all tied up in a little ball. And it won't stick out then. Just run it through your fingers, even. Tiny little ball. Stick it right on the back, you can't see it. And then I'm just going to place that right there. Oh my word, isn't that so cute? I'm loving it. And then this will, like I say, slide on and off, as your belly band does. 
and then you can get that beautiful little tea bag. You could put packets of sweets in there. Oh, anything. Just anything. I think that is gorgeous. Loving that. So there's our first tea bag holder. Lovingly gift wrapped. <laughs> oh, by the way, this was three quid from Hobbycraft as well. I bought quite a few little bits today. So tea bag number one. And that was the one we used, I made beforehand. My tea bag holder number two is this style. No tea bag. Why have I got a tea bag too? Oh, there it is. This is for this one. <laughs> so I'm going to leave that there to show. And my little one. And we're going to get our paper. Now this one measures four by nine and three quarters. So I'm just going to grab my little score pal. And because this is the outside of my paper, flip, get your direction the way you want it and then just flip it over. And I'm using this, no, I'm going to use the large one, I think. You just need to score this three and one quarter. I'm going to flip and I'm going to score at three and one quarter again. A nice eight. We should, I'm going to do the small one at the same time. So I'm having this on the outside. Oh, I don't know. Which one am I having? Oh, I'm going to have the flowers. I had the butterflies on that one, so we're going to have the flowers. And this small one. Grabbing my bone pad, I'm going to use the small end this time. And this is going to get scored at two and a quarter. Flip. And two and a quarter. Oops, it helps me go all the way to the end, Gator. So there are our large and mini tea bags holders. You've got, uh, you could get taller and thinner ones you know for the coffee ones that come quite slim so you could do those hot chocolate all sorts so I'm going to fold so I know this is my front piece I'm just going to burnish that nicely so this is going to be the front isn't that beautiful absolutely stunning I'm going to fold this one as well, making sure you line your papers up right at the bottom. And burnish. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I'm loving that paper, it's so pretty. So I'm going to fetch in the corner around it and we're going to do it while it's closed. So I'm going to pop this in and we're going to just round off all those corners whilst it's closed. Isn't that beautiful? And then one more. And because this paper is, I don't know, it's just beautiful. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, there we go. Isn't that gorgeous? So when you open this up now, you've got that pretty little effect in there. It's so beautiful. I'm going to grab those bits, pop them in my little tub. Now we need to cut our corner. So what we're going to do, we're going to eyeball the centres. And we're just going to take a pair of, if you can do it with the trimmer, let's show with the trimmer. So you fetch your trimmer in. You could have done it while the corners were on, that's fine. But I wanted to make sure I've got it in the centre after I've trimmed. So I can see that it's eyeballed and it's right in the centre there. And it is so down at the bottom here as well. just going to cut that straight off and I've still got that lovely little rounded corner isn't that beautiful and it 
elegantly sits beautifully against there because you've made sure your paper sits together. Don't throw this away. You can use something. You can use that for something. I just think that is divine. Ah, these papers are stunning. Absolutely stunning. So, oh, I suppose you could add an, if you wanted to be really super uber nice, you could attach that on the inside lining it up and give two tea bags how generous are you then one there and one there oh well if you're a double tea bag giver then woohoo don't waste anything oh my but then my little flowers are upside down oh you could even attach this this side absolutely perfect a little gift card in there or something <gasps> how nice is that how wonderful would you be to do that so I've got this little 1 8 inch double sided tape and I'm going to add it along here because if I go all the way from that edge I may have gone a bit too far so start in at the bottom because it's only a tea bag it's holding just going to go as far to the end as we can and just and just lifting it slightly so I haven't quite come all the way to the corner tiniest little overhang there I can see it there we go it's gone and I get that from Hobbycraft as well but you can buy it online and that's from a company called Sticks too. There we go, take that piece off. And now be careful again as to line your paper up at the bottom. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. And this is sweet mint green tea. Oh, beautiful. 90 degrees. I want it 100. <laughs> That way I know all the bacteria's killed off. And look at that. Oops. Bits in there. Perfectly. Oh my word. I'm going to use some more of this crushed red velvet ribbon because that goes beautifully. So if you give me two seconds. I've got my roll. Where have it gone? Oh, there you go. You have to pull it out. I got it in my ribbon dispenser, but so I've just noticed the end of my ribbon's a little bit tatty. So I'm just putting that straight. And again, we're going to leave enough. I'm going to tie a bow this time, I think. So I'm going to give a, myself a good space, good amount. Maybe even a little bit more. There we have it. Because oh, I'm not the best bow tire in the world. Pardon me. Oh, I love this paper. It's just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. There we have it. Where's my mini one? Oh my gosh, I don't know what colour I'm going to use. I might even use that for my mini one as well. Let's pop these scissors up here out of the way. So, I'm going to tie this. The thing is, you can see the back. And I cleverly twisted. So you can't see the back. Isn't that good? Because if I if you do it, if I had done that properly, look, you would have seen the back of that. So as I was tying, I made sure to twist when I came around. So let's see if I can do that again. So twist this. And then I need to twist that so that stays that way and that stays that way. There we go. So see how I've got it like that? That's what I did when I was tying it before. But because we're having a bow, oof, do you think we'll even get a bow out of this? Let's have a look. Looking good so far. 
I need to maybe have a bit of a bigger loop. If not, we're just going to go back to the knot. <laughs> See it coming through. I'm just going to twist. Oh, it's too big and bulky. Let's just keep it with the knot. Yeah, it's a little bit too bulky for this project, I'm afraid. So we tying a knot is the, the way to go for this one. Where's my... I know. Let's get my trusted tweezers in. Of my gorgeous friend, Carla. She's my sister from another mother. <laughs> I do love her. Oh, bless. Right, so you stay there. I'm going to tie a knot. Hopefully, see where I mean now it's the wrong way so I can twist to keep it the right way. Would help if I could grip. Uh, it's, it's a little bit, no it's not even too tight I don't think, so I can still move that up and down. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give myself, I love that, I just wish I could have tied it into a bow and it didn't look too bulky. So I'm twisting and I'm going to snip off. Oops, don't turn. <laughs> it's spinning round on me. Oh my word. I'm going to save those bits for something else. So, when I get my image now... Oh, it's going to stick up like that one. Isn't that beautiful? Thank you for Carla for my items. Um, now we've got silver on the back of this one and I don't think that champagne is going to go with that one. Should we have a look up? Look. I don't think it will. What do you reckon? I think it might, you know. Let's try it. Let's grab our starburst punch and punch another one. What I do is I go in so I can't see any bottom. And then, believe it or not, you can line this up on the last two teeth. So you get maximum amount out of your card. <gasps> Am I skimping or what? <laughs> and it hasn't done anything wrong to the shape of your card. Let's just test this now. I think that's okay, actually. I think that looks quite sweet. What do you reckon? Another circle punch. I'll grab that over here. There we go. Just some more what's it? Some white. Oh, I think that is quite sweet actually. I love that. In fact, I'm gonna swap the sentiment. I know we've got Life is Sweet with Friends on there, and we have on there as well. But where's my stamp set? Because I'm going to use Rich Razzleberry. So I'm going to have... Oh, let's celebrate. When I can find it. Oh, there we go. There it is. Let's get this on a block. Make sure it's straight. Lie in my lap lines up. Perfect. No. Come on, Gina, do it properly now. So I'm just seeing that the row of dots there, making sure. And I'm going to go grab my rich raspberry, which is still very much broken. 
I have to order the new uh, ink pad, I think. Because what? It's broken. So I, I can't push it in. Let's celebrate. Oh, that is so cute. Love it. Grab my little cloth, give it a wipe. Let's pop that in the box and we'll come back with that. That little swirl. Can we get away with that one? Or is that too many dots? Oh yeah. Let's get our little swirl again. Because it's just so sweet. And I'm only going to do it at the bottom this time. There we go. Isn't that lovely? Where's my cloth? Well, there you go. <laughs> Jumping out all over the place. So I've got my little thank you out still for the little card. So I think while we're here... Where's my little, I'm going to use the one and three eighths scalloped punch for the silver on this one. And I'm going to use the one and one eighth for the sentiment. It just fits, believe it, well it just, 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 just fits, and I mean just, 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 it fits. Maybe a tiny little overhang so that's but I put these two together I'll show you now right let's get that away let's I go glue that together watch yeah it's starting to stick I did I'll show you the little card now where's it gone there it is. It's it just, but you can see it on the silver, so it's great. So glue those two together before I stamp. I think they should have done a one and one eighth, a uh, one and a quarter by one and three eighths. That way they would have gelled together lovely. So in with our rich raspberry. Oh yeah, yeah, look, you can see it. Can you see that? Just, you can still see it on the silver. So that's why I glued the two together. Before, oh gosh, sometimes it wants to come apart. So that's what I did with that one. So while our ink was out, we may as kill two birds with one stone. I can then pop my blocks away. And this gorgeous stamp set now can go away. And that one can go on one side. Oh, I'm going to use my tape. What am I doing? I'm not using tape. Yes, I am for this bit. Sorry, it's dimensionals I'm going to use on the back of the champagne for, uh, glitter paper. Oh, Gaina, get your head on straight. There we go. So I want, because I want them either side. So when you undo your ribbon, they will stay on. Top and bottom. I do apologise about that. My phone is on vibrate. And then we're going to pop this right over here. Oh my word, isn't that just the cutest? I don't have a butterfly spare. Well, I do, but it's literally on this piece of paper, which is what we are going to use next. So I'm going to fold over. I 
think I may have made a boo-boo on this one. <laughs> three quarters by three. Ah, I've made a boo-boo. This is seven, so, because my, look, they're not going to meet. They're not going to meet at all. So let me grab another piece of paper. And where's my darling? Oh, I'll tell you what. Let's see if I've got any spare yet. I do, I do, I do. Oh my word. I am loving this Christmas paper. So I'm going to use a piece of this. So I need to cut this down. Six and three quarters. I don't know why that, that was a bit crumpled on the end. Six and three quarters by three. That is the piece we need, and I'm going to score this at two and a quarter. Turn it round and score at two and a quarter. There we go. Right, Tina. Do it properly, lass. Do it properly. Oh, good. I've got to do it this side. So this fits perfectly now. And fold it over. Oh my god, look at me, I can't even grit this. So, because this now is, uh, oh, forgot the corners. Do the corners. Make sure you push it all the way in. How cute is this tiny little thing? It's just adorable. Love it. Oh my word. And now we, we can eyeball this because and do it with scissors because they're long enough. So I'm going to start in the centre. And I'm going to snip my piece off. Isn't that cute? Or oh, perhaps you could like cut that snowflake out of there. Again with my little one eighth tape. It's just it's just a repeat of the last card uh, holder, but I just wanted to show you how cute it was to make these little mini ones. So let me just turn that over. I can snip that and that. Press this down. Move the back in, line it up again. Perfect. Where's my little? I'm going to have a little peach one in this. Isn't that just adorable? Oops. All the teas squashed into that corner. That's there, and that fits on there beautifully. Oh look, we're too short for our ribbon. But that, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have some of that because that looks beautiful against there. Oh my word, oh my word indeed. So let's fetch this around. Oh, that purple is just beautiful with this. I love it. Right, we're going to get a bit tied up there. So, I need to twist. Come under. All fingers and thumbs. Oh my gosh, look how cute that is. There's 
my ribbon facing the right way. I can add that on the end actually. That is super cute. That is adorable. Love that ribbon. And I put my ribbon rack back on my unit because I don't tend to use it much. So again, I'm going to use I'm going to use my mini dimensionals. I'm just going to have one top and bottom. of my bits and I'm going to stick that right so the thank you is running through the ribbon look how cute that is oh my word I'm loving it let's grab these scissors quickly because I have been gabbing on for ages I know you all don't mind you're so kind embellishment just so cute I think it's getting close to tea time because my belly is starting to rumble <laughs> See, you don't have to waste anything. And that can go right over there. So I'm going to grab a dimensional. And I'm going to see which way I'm going to have this. I want a little bit on. So I'm going to put my dimensional towards the bottom. And a wee bit of snail at the top. Oh my gosh. It's not a jumping bean, <laughs> but it seems to think it is. Oh, stick it on, stick it on. So there you go. There's my little mini one as well. Grab a dimension, a rhinestone. Put that straight there. One there. Jasper there. And one there. So there's my little mini tea bag holder. There's the standard size tea bag holder. And whoops, and there's the tea bag holder done on the on the envelope punch board. How do you like those? I think they're super cute. Love them. So there's my other ones. I just need to get a few more tea bags. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed. I had fun making those for you. Three projects in one go. That's not bad, is it? They're so simple, but so super cute. And fabulous ideas for craft bears, like I'm saying. So, you could even have a couple of um, saccharines in a little food bag. That you could do one with the tea bag. One with a little sachet of cream and or dried powdered milk and then your sweetener and sell them as a set. Or you could have hot chocolate, tea bags and coffee. It's, I don't know, it's up to you, but these little mini tea bags are just so cute. But thanks for watching. Till next time. Oh, if you've not subscribed yet, I really would appreciate you pressing that button down there. And if you want to see what I make tomorrow, ooh, press the little bell and... You'll be notified when I come back and make something else. I do try my best to make something every day. So, as long as my hands will let me. Look at my knuckles swelling. Oh. Um, yeah, so, I'll see you all next time. Bye.